A couple walking near Naramata Creek discovered two dead bodies on Monday morning. This is the general area where RCMP officers responded near Naramata Creek Forest Road where the bodies were found. Well, our uh, BC RCMP major crime unit continues to work very closely with the BC Prosecution Service uh, in an effort to identify both of these individuals. I don't have uh, names or genders uh, or age ranges for you at this time, um, but what I can tell you is that a forensic autopsy has been scheduled for later this week. It'll take place this coming Friday, May 14th. RCMP stated there is nothing at this time to indicate a greater general risk to public safety. Our initial findings in this investigation uh, don't lead us to believe that uh, this was any kind of random act or that the public is at any risk. We believe it's isolated and targeted in nature. Um, and uh, if we do uncover any sort of information to suggest otherwise, we're committed to notifying the public and the media immediately. BC RCMP Major Crimes has been called in to assist in the investigation. Helicopters and ground crews were searching throughout the area on Monday, looking for two men out on foot. They have not been located or officially determined as connected to the deaths. After extensive searching, we haven't been able to locate those individuals. Um, we haven't been able to determine uh, concisely whether or not they were related to our death investigation. Um, we're unsure if, if they are related or if perhaps they were involved in some other criminal activity in that area at that time. Uh, so we're encouraging anyone with any information about those two individuals or their actions in that area to come forward immediately. Police helicopters have been spotted on Wednesday flying over Penticton and an RCMP car is stationed on the service road. The investigation is still very much ongoing at this time. Uh, we are, uh, of course, securing that area until after the autopsy. We continue to gather physical evidence from that scene, um, and uh, we're still trying to make those kind of determinations. That is part of our ongoing investigation. At least one vehicle has been seized and removed from that area, and all I can tell you is that it remains part of our ongoing investigation. For Castanet News in Naramata, I'm Casey Richardson.